tonight. What did this team find out defensively that allowed you guys to have that much fight there in the second? Mm, I mean, well, in the first half, we were um, putting resistance on them at first, but uh, after, this, after the first half was over, we came back and threw a punch. They threw the first punch in the first half, but we came back and threw the first punch. We started competing against them. They were a lot more physical than we thought. I mean, I won't say that as we thought. Coach Ben warning us about how physical these guys can be and that they, uh, they can turn the ball over, too. Uh, Elias was really physical on the boards as well. Um, he did a good job of really um, executing their pick and rolls and stuff like that. So, I mean, it was really a, it was like a, it was like a physical battle on the glass day. At halftime, what was the message or what changed for this team? Um, just turning it up a notch. Uh, we, um, like I said, we didn't, we finally put a resistance on them in the second half to where like, you know, we were, you know, letting them find other shots other than, uh, you know, the little pocket pass off the pick and roll or a downhill layup. So, you know, they start kicking up, um, they start taking on the big. I think Rashawn did a great job today protecting the rim a lot. And, you know, that's about it. But they kept on being aggressive and kept on executing. Tell me more about what you saw from Rashawn out there. Yeah, he was really um, the anchor today. Um, really set the tone up, set the tone uh, by showing an example uh, with his effort. And just being engaged, you know, the big blocks and the dunks and just playing hard. That's, that's what we need. You guys, things are getting better. Every game, every game, we just gotta finish it out. We get, we get, we get good every game. As you can tell, like when we started, we, you know, we were getting blown out by 20, by half, and you know we started to lock down, and you know conditioning is there now. So we just gotta finish out games and really lock in and know time and possession, uh, which crucial is not. We had that five point lead in, in the uh, down the stretch. What happened? Why couldn't you hold it? That's basketball. <laughs> like, to be honest, that's basketball. You're going to make some shots, you're going to miss some shots. So, it's, the only thing we can really control is our defense. You know, trying to get it back and, you know, getting better shots and high percentage shots. So, I mean, I think we, it was just a tough loss. Um, you know, we, we had a tie game, but, you know, it came down to the line to the last shot and stuff like that. So. Tonight, but over the last few games, what have you seen out of him just bringing up yeah. higher energy to the team? The same thing. The first group leaves, the second group come back and you know they match that same intensity and energy. Um, you know, he to me he never has a bad game. He always do what he has to do to uh, help us win. Um, he's always on the glass, always protecting the rim. Um, yeah, blocking a lot of shots, stuff like that. Do you feel that in practice too? All the time. All the time. Yeah, it gets <laughs> Devin is talking about just execution. That's where you guys are at right now. It's about executing. You told me about the possession. That last three minutes, what do you feel like? I think we executed our plays right. You know, we knocked down some big shots too out of the ATOs. And yeah, I mean, what about on the defensive end? Defensive end, yeah. Is yeah, that's what we that's what we have to get better on, uh, especially on the time of possessions too. <clears throat> Just not getting those silly fouls or you know being involved with the refs or calls and stuff like that. Because it was a tough game, the whole game. Thanks, Dan.